What's up guys? Today we are watching episode 5 of Wolfpack. So, last episode, Austin, I think his name is, came forward with, like, what he actually saw that other day that he doesn't like talking about. Like, you know, he talked to Luna, Luna drew it for him, he gave it to the police, so now they got basically another picture of, like, the wolf, so that's another thing that they're, like, looking after. And at the end of the episode, we saw the wolf, like, towering over piled up bodies. And I just want to know why there are so many bodies. Like, I know he killed, like, two people already that we, like, saw. But apparently he's been killing more. And it's like, why? You know? Hopefully we'll find out. Maybe I'm just overthinking why he's doing it, but I don't know. I guess we'll see in this episode, maybe, or the other ones, so I guess let's get into the episode. Is that gonna be like young Harlan? Nothing. So his dad is like helping him train in a way, I guess. All right. How do you do something by not doing it? Well, I suppose it's the difference between listening and hearing. So maybe you need to learn to hear before you can listen. I'm surprised he's letting him go off basically on his own, but I mean, he has to to help him learn. I don't want to say that's the wolf way back then. Who else could it be though? Unless it's just a random one. Nothing. Just interrupted it. <laughs> that was days ago. And no one's found his body. No one's found anybody. The cop's dead. My brother could have died too if ever didn't get to him first. But why would it go after a little kid? That's what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe he was just trying to get to Blake. I don't know. Back. I got angry at Danny and grabbed him. And he hit me in the face. Maybe it was watching. And picked up on your emotions. So that's why it actually did it? I didn't think that would be a reason, but okay. Meaning what? He was too weak to be in the pack? What do you do to a horse with a broken leg? You put it down. But don't wolves heal? Or maybe that's just, again, for only one wolf who has that healing power. It's me. He told me to run, and it probably saved my life. What if he's trying to help us again? I say answer it. See what else this man wants. Has he ever called you? No. He's only gonna keep calling until one of you answers. So I say answer it. And I still want to know who the man is. What the hell was that? That sounded like it came straight from a book. What was that? The guy on the phone? No, the Roman poet. It's the story of Lycan. Oh, so he was basically reading a story in a way. He was the first werewolf. Why hang up if you're just gonna call again? Fall? No. The wolf kills to satisfy a predatory drive. The urge is too powerful to resist. It hunts, kills, and then hides. That's why he has, like, the pile of bodies. That's 
that's why I overthought it. So it's gonna kill someone tonight. Are you listening, Everett? It kills every night. So who's gonna be next? I thought that was about to be a random ass person, not just them. This is the kind of emotion I'm talking about. So since he gave a location, does that mean they're finally going to meet who it is? Or is it just like who's going to be killed next? So they're already on their way to being dead. The doctor's still here? It, it's still here. Okay. Of course it's still gonna be there. It seems like it somewhat just happened. So got so they got the door off for nothing. Fuck, what the fuck? Holy shit! Holy shit! What the fuck just happened? Someone call the cops. Are you crazy? Stop yelling everyone! Stop! Someone needs to call the fucking cops! I just wanna know how the other dude knew where that happened. And if he knew about it, why didn't he help? And she got problems right now. It's killing for us. How are we supposed to explain that to the cops? You don't. Kills every night. Everett, stop. We have to figure out who it's going after tomorrow night. We have to stop it from killing. How do you figure out who is going to be next? The class is so popular. It's everyone's favorite elective. My kids took it last year. It's also an easy A. Harlan got a D. Well, personally, I, uh, you know, was hoping they'd use these to print food, you know, like little candies and such. I could tell they were fabricated from a 3G printer. Now, when you look closely, you can see that each one has a school ID. Gray Lake size. Shit. So they were stupid making it there. To watch the fire? Oh, that one. Cyrus Nix. So they think it's going to be him? What are we doing here? Show them. <sighs> what, are we supposed to go there now? No thanks. I am not watching. They already got another pin, and it's like, how do they know? Works all the time. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe you should go to the gym and work on that super strength. Because I didn't see shit from you last night. Harley. Yo, they, yeah, they just, tra they just became wolves. You've been one your whole life. Give them a break. Um, he died fighting a wildfire right after I was born. About 17 years ago. Another fire very much like the one going on right now. So they think that's motive? You mean me? I'm the connection between the two fires. You. And one or two other students. Who's the other two? Is that Blake and Everett? So, you just here to buy or working out? No, um, I actually gotta be quick for a party tonight. Really? Is he getting drugs? For a party? <laughs> He's gonna get in the zone and he's gonna be able to binge a lot. It's like Harlan, Harlan's proud, but also not. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh god. So they're basically just competing right now to see who's stronger. Everyone's stunned, like, the fuck? But it's like, is anyone really gonna question him about it, though? Oh, fuck me. Here, you got it. No, I don't got it. I had a feeling he wouldn't be able to do it, but I don't- I'm not dissing him about it. It's... scary. Like, I already did. What? Holy. Oh, so he did do it. <laughs> now you know you're both, you're both strong. I was like 12 and in the woods. It was actually the one and only time I saw my real dad. What did he look like? Oh, so that was his dad. I was right. Okay. How did your real father go from a regular wolf to a seven foot tall werewolf? I don't know. No, I'm wondering that too. Like how the hell did he change so much? Back to a wolf. Maybe even Back to a human. How long has it been since that man has been human? Maybe he becomes human every now and then, you know? Or like all the time and just they don't know it. That they're not a threat to us. We can be nice to them for a few hours. I can be nice. Can you though? <laughs> Yes! Tia, this was supposed to be a mellow kickback. So that- so that's their way in. What even is that? Is she okay? Or is she just gonna drown? Or does anyone care? What, you judging me? No. I'm taking mushrooms before. Really? Yeah. More than once. Mushrooms, okay. Spirituality? Oh shit, did I get a lot of that right? No. You're just an asshole. Yeah, why'd you have to be a dick about it? I thought y'all were being cool. I thought y'all were cool. We shouldn't look at him like that. Like what? Like you want to kill him. I don't think she looked like she wanted to kill him. I think she just looked sad as fuck. Have fun. I wonder how those actually taste. I feel like they taste like ass. Harlan and Luna. That's the first part. And why I found them during the same wildfire in which Cyrus's father died. I'm practically doing my job for me. So she put two and two together in a way. Curious. What made you want to take on that responsibility? I ask that question every time I fight with Harlan. You know, actually, I want to know that too. What made you randomly want to keep them whenever you don't know what you're doing? It's for you. So I can stare at myself? No. So you can see yourself. See, they're a good friendship. They, they really help each other out with that shit. Light 
I was about to say, I thought, I thought, I didn't see the strap, so I was like, did she already take off her top? <laughs> but the burn rate's the same. Both fires started at the same time. And one was probably set remotely by radio or cell phone. Or what if it was, I was gonna say, what if it was two, but apparently they just think it's one. So he launched the drones with the incendiary devices. Then watched both ignition points go up at the same time from here. So that makes sense, but it's like, who? Again, it was one of the kids, but it's like, I, I just, I'm just kind of confused as to who it would be. We know you? Who's we? I mean, we know of you, but... Is he getting jealous? Okay. I like them with girls or boys or both. I don't like labels. Everyone likes labels. It's all people care about these days. I don't label my- He's being such a dick about it. You're a dick. So are you. Fuck you. Fuck me. Sure. The way they casually just say it is funny as fuck. So you're the fuck boy. Don't tell me the wolf is there. Someone at the party is gonna die. Like a dinner at a restaurant? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Give me your phone. Is Harlan gonna change his fuckboy ways for you? So I have your number. I'll call you. Has he been the one? No. Cause I mean that happens whenever you actually don't have people's numbers in your phone, right? I don't know. Am I about to see glowing eyes? No, oh, I thought there was going to be glowing eyes in the bush. I low-key just had a feeling that it might be Austin too, and I was right. So, hell yeah. Right. So he actually knows how to play. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. You were having anxiety again. I could feel it. The way that she can sense it. Okay, there's no way that calms you down. <laughs> it does. I, I think it's giving me anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this one's better. I like brown noise better. I like that she's kind of into just like learning about the shit that helps him. I, my awakened, I, uh, I think about you. And I think to myself. Is he really, is he really confessing this shit to her? Me. You did it, Everett. Okay. Don't make it awkward now. Yeah. 
You didn't need a phone to do that. <laughs> Okay then, about time, but at least it wasn't in the first episode and all the other shit was actually just visions, so we're good. You know what, you guys go ahead. I want to check things out here. You sure? Yeah. I can take care of myself. If she's suspicious of something, and that was a line someone else used to say in a show that I watched. Mm -hmm. If you end up dead, I'm gonna be mad. I said, get the fuck out of here. Nobody invited you. You weren't doing anything. You were ruining my night. Phoebe, come on. How? What did she do? Oh, they should be dead. Bitch, she thinks she can flash my tires. I am gonna, I am gonna, I am gonna fucking ruin her. Did he just turn that shit into a fucking song, basically? I'm sorry. It's kind of funny, but also not. Turn it off Ooh. now! Wait, 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 wait! Hey. Oh. You kidding me? Again? Austin. Oh shit, wait. Did she throw his phone last time, or was that someone else's? I think it was his. You're not telling me Austin's about to die. And how the fuck, where did that random light come from in there? You can't tell me his phone was on. The fact that that thing really showed up there and it's showing up in front of everyone, like. Oh, careful. Jesus. Are those? Bodies. They found where the thing is keeping the bodies. Powerful supernatural predator. Part human, part wolf. A werewolf. Um, what the fuck? Is it you? Well, no, you're there, so you can't be the wolf, but apparently you know about it. How? You're telling me that's how you're gonna end the episode? How does she know about it? Is she somehow their mother? I don't know. It randomly just came into my head and I'm like, you know what? We're talking about the dad a lot. Who's the mom? Maybe, could she be mom? I don't know. Probably not. It's just like, I just want to know how she knows. And it's like, she seemed to know it was like a wolf thing last episode. So it's like, I didn't think any anything of it. But it's like, now she just killed man after she like found the hiding spot or whatever. So it's like, what's up with that? And you're on the police force or whatever, and you just killed that man, and nothing's gonna happen to you. I thought she was gonna be like somewhat a good character, but at this point, she kind of seems the opposite. Like, come on. Is she something? Her eyes didn't glow, but like, maybe they're waiting to do that. I don't know. I feel like she might be something, but then also not. She just somehow knows about it. But I swear to God, that whole episode, I didn't expect Everett and Blake to actually kiss this episode. Like, I, I don't know why I thought it was going to be, like, towards the end of the season, but I'm not mad that it happened. It's cute. They're cute. And then, what's her name? Luna and Austin are also cute. But then again, Austin is a bit of a dick. And I don't like that. So he's going to have to start being nicer, you know? have some character development but we'll see if that happens 
And then not only that, Harlan is going to be going out with Cyrus. Because Cyrus seemed to be getting jealous about the other dude. But then now he convinced Harlan to go on a date with him. And it's like, it's so weird that like Harlan's going to actually like change his ways to actually go on a date. Like it's cute. But is he actually going to change his ways, though? Like, it kind of seems like he is. We'll see about that. What's it called? I just want to know what made the other girl so mad at Blake. Like, she didn't seem to be doing anything. Blake didn't even really talk to her. So why was she randomly just mad at Blake? Was it because she was kissing Everett and girl has a crush on Everett? I don't know. Maybe she's straight up just actually a bitch and just wanted to do it for no reason. But she just makes no sense. And I low-key thought that the wolf was going to kill her whenever it slashed the tires, but she's still alive. Maybe she's going to be next. I don't know. And you know what? We still didn't even figure out who the dude is on the phone. We, th we saw what's his name whenever Cyrus called Harlan's phone. We saw the no caller ID thing and it kind of seems like it's him, but I don't think it's him. I feel like it might be framed for it to be him. You know, he might be getting framed. And that's kind of smart, but it's like, who, who would have known that man's history enough to like do that? I don't know. There's a lot of questions that I need answered. And I want to know if that other girl, if the police lady is actually supernatural or not. Maybe we'll find out in the next episode, hopefully, but I guess come back for episode six. 